classification of computers. Learning plan Classification of computers Microcomputers Mini computers Mainframe computers Supercomputers Mighty, I have seen only laptops and desktops. What kind of computers are there besides these computers? Yes, there are different types of computers having different features. Let's explore them. The history of computers tells us that Charles Babbage is called the father of computers. Now, in this chapter, we will try to describe the types of computers and elaborate upon the classification of computers. There are different types of computers having different features. Computers can be classified based on their size, technology, purpose. Classification of computers. Microcomputers. Mainframe computers. Mini computers. Supercomputers. Some more. Microprocessor chips are used in many devices such as iPods, DVDs, headphone, etc. First, microcomputers. Microcomputers came into picture as computers having single chip microprocessors. They are the most common computers being used for domestic, commercial purposes nowadays. They also include solutions like desktop computers, game consoles, tablet computers and smartphones among others. They are basically portable and occupy very less space. Main features The CPU is a single chip known as the microprocessor. These are single user computers. They are mainly used in offices and homes. They are the least expensive. Generally, they run on rechargeable batteries, except desktop computers. Desktop, laptop, notebook, palm top, tablet, smartphone. Examples Desktop computer, a personal or micro mini computer sufficient to fit a desk. Laptop computer, a portable computer complete with an integrated screen and keyboard. It is generally smaller in size than a desktop computer and larger than a notebook computer. Palm top computer, digital diary, notebook, PDAs. A hand sized computer. Palm tops have no keyboard but the screen serves both as an input and output device. Smartphones, smart books and PDAs. Personal digital assistants are small handheld computers with limited hardware. Programmable calculator are small handhelds but specialized on mathematical work. Game console are fixed computers specialized for entertainment purposes. Embedded computer like in-car computers, car putters built into a car for entertainment or navigation, washing machines, watches, ATM machines, automatic teller machine and the likes. Second, mainframe computers. Mainframe computers are very large and expensive computers capable of supporting hundreds or even thousands of users simultaneously. In the hierarchy that starts with a simple microprocessor and watches, for example, at the bottom and moves to supercomputers at the top. Mainframes are just below supercomputers. In some ways, mainframes are more powerful than supercomputers because they support more simultaneous programs. But supercomputers can execute a single program faster than a mainframe. Examples VAX8842, CDC6600, IBM4381. Third, mini computers. A mini computer is a mid sized computer. In size and power, mini computers lie between workstations and mainframes. In the past decade, the distinction between large mini computers and small mainframes has blurred. 
However, as has the distinction between small mini computers and workstations. But in general, a mini computer is a multiprocessing system capable of supporting from 4 to about 200 users simultaneously. Examples PDP 11, VAS PARC, Power, and Itanium based systems from Sun Microsystems, IBM, and Havlet Packard. 4. Supercomputers Supercomputers are the most powerful of all computers. The fastest and most powerful type of computers, supercomputers, are very expensive and are employed for specialized applications that require immense amounts of mathematical calculations. For example, weather forecasting requires a supercomputer. Other uses of supercomputers include animated graphics, fluid dynamic calculations, nuclear energy research and petroleum exploration, etc. The chief difference between a supercomputer and a mainframe is that a supercomputer channels all its power into executing a few programs as fast as possible, whereas a mainframe uses its power to execute many programs concurrently. Examples Cray XTS HE, India's Param, IBM Blue Gene PK Computer. In winter, in 1958, Seymour Cray built the first completely transistorized supercomputer for the Control Data Corporation. Tick the correct option.